Well, hi everyone, and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm a little bit nervous today because, uh, well, really, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I am in the middle of Sydney, Australia, on a rooftop. Got one of these things, a flow hive, and um, filled it with bees, basically. And I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, what else have I got to say? That's really been my main training. I know I'm supposed to have a mentor and all of those sorts of things, but uh, I decided to do most of my learning through Dr. Google, as a lot of people do these days. But I bought a flow hive. A couple of weeks ago, I brought home a heap of bees in a box. Let's take a look how that went. So I basically bought the bees, they came home, I emptied them out, just as people instruct you to on YouTube and on the internet, and they've been sitting in here now for a couple of weeks, and during that time I've inspected the hive a couple of times. I think I've done the right thing, the queen has been released, I've been able to spot the queen uh, doing her thing, and now this is the two week mark, so we're using foundationless frames. I'm going to open it up, have a look, and of course, uh, being Murphy's Law, I've chosen the hottest day today. It's about 40 degrees Celsius out here in the sun. Uh, my iPhone's just shut down because it was too hot even. But um, anyway, let's open it up and, and have a little look what's going on in here. So, um, you know what I forgot? Oh, first rule of beekeeping, I've forgotten my smoke. Give me one second. All right, that's better. Now, let's give some smoke uh, into the front here of the hive. A few puffs. And this is where everyone apparently comments on my video that I've used too much smoke or something like that. I don't really know what I'm doing as I've explained, so please leave a comment and give me some suggestions. If you've got some, I'd love to hear them because uh, I'm not claiming at all to be an expert here. This top hole here closed up and uh, get a little bit more smoke. Bees happy. Okay, you can hear them buzzing in there. up let's have a look a few bees on the top too many having a look for a queen as people do okay now a little bit more smoke down in the frames there we go all right now well we've got uh, some really nice comb see a little comb in there so they're a bit, of a bit wavy, there's a bit of cross comb I can see which we may need to fix up uh, in the next week or so, which I'll come back and do maybe another video on that. And um, what I'm going to do first is just start pulling these apart and seeing what's going on. And uh, take one of these frames out here for a bit of space. Got a bit of a wave going to them in terms of keeping to the, to the plan. You can see there these are very happy, making their comb. Not much going on this one. I think I can see. A bit of pollen in there. And uh, always looking out for a queen. Can't see the lady. But um, I've been known to miss her, because I'm by no means an expert. What am I doing here? Okay, here we go. Next frame, let's see what's happening. Bit of a wobbly looking bunch of comb here. Not too bad. I can see some capped brood. Uh, I can see some pupae there. Some pupae in there. You can see some, um, some, a little bit of pollen, a little bit of nectar. All looking pretty good. Doing well in here. Is this, this one mint here, keep it over to the side and keep inspecting along. Check out what the situation is. Okay, so this is only after two weeks, so doing very well. Lots of capped brood. Um, freshly capped up the top there. Let's have a look on the other side. Looking out for a queen. You may have already seen her on the video, and I haven't. But, nonetheless, very, very 
interesting. Very interesting. I'll tell you what, this beekeeping is a fascinating hobby to take up. Um, you know, coming from not knowing anything to probably knowing a dangerous amount of, of everything, which is not too much, really experiences the count here. Let's have a look here. Lots more cap brood, doing beautifully. Really doing well. Lots of cap brood. <clears throat> and I would love tips if you're out there watching, you notice we do the wrong thing, the right thing, whatever, please let me know. Because it's, uh, it's hard when you're just starting out. There's a lot of experts out there. I've actually just joined a bee club. Start getting involved with that, learning a, a lot more. But spring has sprung here in Australia, so we're, we're really trying to get our, well, I was trying to get the opportunity to get started here. Okay, into the middle of the hive now. Wow, doing really well. Maybe you could let me know as well as, do you think I should try and straighten this comb out? It's a little bit on, on an angle, but you know, it's still separating okay, and it doesn't look too bad to me. So we can't see it, Queen. Up, oh, could well have missed her. Okay, it's in here. Beautifully calm. These are for me today. Oh. In there, so we don't crush them. A little puff of smoke, just to keep them really nice and calm. I hear them buzzing. Ooh, buzzing away. Uh, fanning their wings. Let's have a look here. Lots of bees. Lots of bees hanging around. Cat brood. Standing out to me. Right. In there, getting them nice and tight together. Can we see in here? Queens to be seen. Beautifully straight, this comb. It's looking very good. Still no sign of the lady. She might be around somewhere. Or well, she has to be around somewhere. Okay. Down there. Shaking dance that I've heard about, you know, looking at depositing pollen. Lots of, see lots of lovely 
nectar in there. A lot of bees on the side of the hive. No, oh, that means anything, but nonetheless, they are there. Beautiful. Everything's going really nicely there. And no queen to be seen. A little bit of comb being created on the side of the box. Alright. Generally really happy with that. Move them all back, like so. Our final frame back in. Okay. The bees. Oops. lid back on, closing on an angle, so we don't squish them. Okay. The other thing too is, you know, should I, this is a good question for you guys out there, should I leave this open? Um, Flow Hive has an angled top, some people apparently get comb from the top, some people put uh, mesh over that just to let some ventilation through, I'd be Happy to hear your ideas on that. And also the bottom board's still closed. When do I open that or should I open that? I don't really know. I don't really know the answer. So um, some questions for you guys out there. All right, looking great. Happy bees. All back together. I hope this has been interesting for you guys out there. Um, I'm learning each day. Uh, it's really interesting seeing the progression of the bees and hopefully you'll join me next time when I crack this thing open in about a week's time and see how they're going. Bye for now.